Let's now go ahead and take a look at how we would solve a rational inequality, such as the one shown where you've got um, you know, binomials in the numerator and the denominator. Uh, the first thing I notice here is that uh, we would like to have a common denominator between this uh, term on the left, this fraction on the left, and the negative 3. So let's, uh, let's multiply this negative 3 by x plus 2 over x plus 2. And that's going to allow us to make this one simple uh, fraction. So if I take 3 times x plus 2 over x plus 2, the reason I'm choosing x plus 2 is because it's the common denominator between the two uh, terms. So then I'm going to get uh, 3x plus 4 uh, minus 3 times x plus 2. And then since they now will have the same denominator, I can combine them over x plus 2. And again, that's all uh, greater than or equal to 0. So then uh, let's uh, go ahead and distribute that 3. So we get minus 3x minus 6 over x plus 2. And when we simplify, these are going to cancel out. And then we have 4 minus... Uh, 4 minus 6, which is negative 2. So negative 2 over x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. And just like before, we're going to want to try to find our zeros, but also the points where it's going to be undefined. As you can see in this case, there are no zeros uh, because negative 2 will never equal 0. But there is a point where it's undefined, and that is at negative 2 because negative 2 plus 2 would give me zero in the denominator. So I'm going to test, uh, just like I did with the uh, two terms multiplied by each other, I'm going to see what happens when I have, uh, for instance, a something like a negative um, 3 over here and something like a, uh, well, 0 would be an easy number to test over here. So um, when I have... Uh, negative 2, my function negative 2 over negative 3 uh, plus 2, I'm always going to have a negative on top. But then I also have negative 3 plus 2 gives me a negative on the bottom. A negative over a negative gives me a positive. So I know that everything below negative 2 will be uh, greater than 0. Now checking the other side, the zero, um, we have we would then have uh, negative two over zero plus two, which gives me a negative over a positive, negative two over positive two. That means everything above negative two, negative divided by positive is a negative number. Everything above negative two is going to be below zero. So what I'm looking for is greater than or equal to zero. So I like the points where it's positive, which would be from negative infinity to negative uh, two. And we cannot include negative two because uh, it is uh, undefined at that, the function is undefined at that point. And if we were to look at the graph here, you can see that where is it above the x-axis? Where is this function above the x-axis? It's only before negative 2, just like we predicted. So here's an example of a rational function you can try on your own. And um, using the uh, division rules to test out your values that you choose, go ahead and see if you can determine the interval over which this is true.